Good morning, everybody. Heather here. I have a reading today from my grandfather's blessings, stories of strength, refuge, and belonging from Rachel by Rachel Naomi Remen, MD, author of Kitchen Table Wisdom. Really great stories in here. I've had this on my bookshelf for probably 10 years and uh, happy to return to it today. So the reading today is called In the Gray Zone. A woman with metastatic cancer once told me that through the experience of her illness, she had discovered a basic truth. There are only two kinds of people in this world, those who are alive and those who are afraid. She had smiled at me and said that many of the people she had met who were afraid were doctors. Perhaps such fear is a natural outcome of the wish to be in control. A patient whose physician told him several years ago that he had three months to live told me in bewilderment that the doctor had seemed satisfied as he made this heart-stopping statement. He seemed sorry to be telling me this, but he also seemed pleased that he had the information to give me, almost as pleased as if he had told me that he had had the right drug to eradicate my cancer. He told me of my death with an air of authority, as if it were he who had decided when it would be, and in doing so had somehow gained mastery over it. As if when he could not control my cancer, he could at least control the time of my death. I was angry for a long time, but I now think he was out of control and vulnerable as I was. Too bad we could not have talked man to man on that level instead of reaching for a false certainty. Perhaps the most basic skill of the physician is the ability to have comfort with uncertainty to recognize with humility the uncertainty inherent in all situations, to be open to the ever-present possibility of the surpassing, the mysterious, and even the holy, and to meet people there. The need for certainty is not just a problem for medical professionals. We wish for certainty as, as ardently as our doctors do, are seduced by it as profoundly, and are as disappointed it with the uncertain nature of the world. We all yearn for mastery, but mastery is always limited. Sooner or later, we will come to the edge of all that we can control and find life waiting for us there. The wish to control floats like a buoy above the hidden reef of fear. More than any single thing, fear is the stumbling block to life's agenda. Perhaps it is only the things we fear that we wish to control. Perhaps no one can serve life as if they are unconsciously afraid of life. Life is a process. When he was very old, and excuse me if I pronounce this incorrectly, when he was very old, Roberto Asagioli, Asagioli, the founder of Psychosynthesis, reminded one of his young students of this. There is no certainty. There is only adventure. And I want to share also a, a quote on what is fear. Non-acceptance of certainty. If we accept that uncertainty, it becomes an adventure. And that was Rumi, poet Rumi, who said that. I like to look at life as an adventure just about every time I go out the door. Um, I leave my house and say, oh, I'm going to have an adventure today. As a matter of fact, when my husband comes along, I usually sing this little song from Sesame Street called Adventure. <laughs> and uh, just to just to kind of build the enthusiasm and the excitement. And uh, you can look it up on YouTube, uh, Sesame Street Adventure. If you type in 
on YouTube, Sesame Street slash Adventure, you will find the cutest, fun little song. Well, listen, I hope you have an adventure today. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.